If someone's experiencing dizziness, they may talk about vertigo or spinning sensation, particularly when they move their head. They may talk about lightheadedness or giddiness when they stand up quickly, a feeling as if they're going to black out. But the most common cause for dizziness is when they describe an unsteadiness when they stand up to walk and they feel unsafe. Some of the factors that contribute to dizziness, probably the most common is inner ear. Some of the more severe causes can be in the brain itself, like stroke, for example, or TIA. The kinds of things I'd be concerned about when I think a patient needs to see a neurologist, number one, if they're falling. So a previous fall is a very, very serious reason to see a neurologist because they're gonna be at high risk of another fall. A blackout or a loss of consciousness with a fall certainly is very important. And the most important thing I tell patients are is if they ever feel dizzy and at the same time have slurred speech or double vision, this is not inner ear. This is brain and this is serious. The tug test, the timed up and go test, is the test where the patient stands up and walks from a seated position, 10 feet, turn around, come back, and sit back down in the seat at their normal pace. They should be able to do that anywhere from 10 to 12 seconds, depending on their age. There are also some other things that patients can do to, to try to reduce their risk of falling. Uh, please, please use their cane and their walker as they've been instructed to. Uh, we can bring people into the home with home health to modify the house, add handrails where it's needed. If the patient needs a hospital bed or a, a lift chair, there's so many things we can do to help make it easy for the patient not to end up falling and injuring themselves. And a lifeline, some electronic device to monitor them if they should fall because that's when the real damage occurs if there's nobody there to help them. Probably the biggest challenge for us to get patients to lower their risk is to accept that there's a problem. If you have a loved one or you're suffering from dizziness, the best thing to do is give us a call at our number or reach us at the website.